Let's see. Where is there to scan then? What have you got for me? Oh, we've we've narrowed it down to this system, just not the particular cluster. Wait, other way around. We've narrowed it down to this cluster, just not the particular system. Although saying that, there are only two, it looks like. Two new places. Oh no, never mind, there's three. Well, whatever. Let's do this one first. Signal confirmed. Imagine if we first tried it. Laconics. Laconics is far enough from its F-class star that its temperatures are almost to tolerable to sapient life, but its extremely thin atmosphere makes it almost as hostile as a vacuum. Uh, the Reapers did not overlook Laconics in their sweep of the system, and the orbital stations are now destroyed. Blop. Unsuccessful. No evidence of no Leviathan's energy Leviathan signature. That's fine. Uh, wide land masses. A handful of Turians colonized the planet and attempted to introduce land plants. Their chief hurdle was the lack of good topsoil, which required imports and sophisticated farming practices to overcome. The farmer's maxim on Triginta Petra was, if you can last five seasons, you officially know what you're doing. Reapers judged its population too low to harvest and struck its colonies with kinetic impactors. They moved on, trusting the destruction of the food supplies made arteries would finish off the inhabitants of such a biota-poor world. Blot. Dextro rations. Ooh. Tully and Garrus will be happy to hear that. Evasion successful. I wonder if it'll always be the last one we check. Or whether I... I'm just gonna find it here. I found something. Chalkos. A few garden worlds in the Milky Way that is also part of a binary planet system. Both it and heavenly twin Selvos are in a stable orbit with one another in addition, in, in addition to orbiting the star Mill. Uh, da, da, da. This does not prevent a colony from springing up, largely Asari, and the ver their varying species of mates. Far from an idyllic settlement, like many Terminus worlds, it was rife with farmers growing psychoactive substances, armed gangs, and with genetic engineering that would be illegal in council space. But aside from the maddening heat and photo period, it was quite inhabitable. The Reapers turned Chalkos to rubble. Emergency broadcasts caught in the light cone coming from the planet indicate the Reapers used ground forces to invade and spent little time harvesting. As they departed, the Reapers bombarded the planet from orbit, either because they needed to reinforce another front quickly or had gathered the data on genetic engineering they needed. You hate to hear it. Husk Neural Map. Well, this is good. Even if we're not finding what we uh, what we need, we are finding a bunch of war asset stuff. So that is very nice. Is nice. My lassie. Uh, da -da -da. not much. Blood. Unsuccessful. Which means it is the third and final place. I wonder if that is a guarantee. Or whether I just got unlucky. Signal confirmed. 2181 Desponia. Uh, only spotted recently by human space probes, and no records indicate it's been explored since. Yeah, that sounds like a place that something would be hiding out. Scans indicate it's covered in an ocean of liquid water. Uh, da, da, da. That's it, okay. Blot. So, successful. 
Faint trace of Leviathan's energy signature. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan. Oh boy. One sec though. Oh, that is 100%. Never mind. Not one sec. We're going in. ED and... Who are we gonna take today? I do not know who we will take. Maybe we shall just take... Take? <laughs> just take. Just take Liara again. If this is actually where it is, then I feel like Liara is probably the one I'm most interested in having her opinion on it when we meet it. Assuming we get to meet it. Got to imagine this ends with conversation, at least. <laughs> and maybe getting it to uh, assist in the war effort. That'd be cool. Uh... Yeah, let's just take Liara. She's definitely the perspective. She's she's who I want to hear the opinions of most. So yeah, if this is the if this is the final thing, then uh, yeah. Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. I'm still not sure what we're expecting to find down there. Dr. Bryson classified Leviathan as a Reaper killer. It appears it doesn't wish to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. But then what? If it turns out to be a Reaper, are we really going to offer an alliance? I mean, I need to hear its reasoning, right? Why is it killing Reapers? Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Well, Look that explains way. the dark and cold, the huh? The should still be able to reach it. Oh wow, look at that. That is gorgeous. That's possible. The Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres. But I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Dennis, some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! That went well. Oh, this is great. <laughs> no worries. Everyone all right? I'm okay here. How's the shuttle, Cortez? Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. We'll look around. It would seem others have been stranded here as well. We aren't the first to encounter that pulse. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Man, look at the water. I fucking love water in games. Like, rolling oceans and shit. Big fan. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is great. I don't recognize any of these ships. How long have they been here? A long ass time. Many cycles, potentially. Any idea how old these are? The bones are untouched by scavengers. If they rotted clean from humidity and exposure, it might take more than a year. Datapad log, Atten Brooks. The hull will hold, that's what they say. Whatever god watches over Ezo prospectors came through for us. Despite a hell of a smack in the water landing, the MSV Monarch dis displaces enough air to stay afloat. We're all thankful we're alive. Captain Pratt even ordered the champagne broken out. Helps perspective, I guess. The big puzzle? What downed us in the first place? Kunshin says it wasn't lightning, it was some kind of pulse. A directed energy weapon seems likely, but where would it have come from? There's no radio traffic. The whole bloody ocean is silent. Tonight the techs are going to try rerouting the power to get a good mass drop before getting the thrusters firing. If all goes well, we'll be airborne in 24 hours. And then he died. Shepard. Ah, I see. Explains why no one gets out of here. Can we, like... Yeah. Probably a good idea. 
Datapod, datapad log from Kunshan. Attempts to get airborne have failed every time. The damage done by the pulses, if you could call it damage, doesn't make physical sense. The connections aren't fried, but the Monarch's thrusters disengage. The distress beacon is likewise dead, but most of our electronics are still functioning. It doesn't seem to be a result of shielding. Without a distress beacon, we've got no chance. I hear bad things about ration supplies, and I think that's why the captain ordered us to collect rainwater and set up tents on the deck. It keeps us busy. Brooks has been talking about using Triton's weapons to try blast fishing. I agree, but I haven't seen anything that looks like a fish. I wish I were, I were an optimist. Ah, uh, rip. That dude knows what's up. He knows they're fucked. Fuck a Rooneyed. Pure Ezo sample, hello. Would have, would have liked to have found that in Mass Effect 2. During the great scanning sessions of 2021. Star charts? Oh, just credits. Another data pad. Chai Lin. The rations will hold us two more days. Brooks sent a drone to the bottom and it came up with bioluminescent plant life. None of it is edible. I warned the crew not to eat it before my tests were done, but Ramiro and Mollins tried this anyway. They haven't stopped vomiting and their dehydration wastes fresh, fresh water. We sent Kunshan's team on a raft over to the wrecks. They came back with spheres, some kind of organic-based alien technology, and nothing to eat. I want to believe they'll give us some answers, but if they had helped the other ships figure out what, ha what happened, they wouldn't be here now, would they? It's getting cold. It's getting cold, not because it was actually getting cold, because the spheres were there and it was taking them over and making them feel cold and dark. Oh boy. Oh boy. What the fuck is that? Captain Abel Pratt. Ramos is our first death. He tried to throw one of the spheres overboard and something happened. Kunshan and maybe three or four others started beating him like madmen. I wish I was quick enough to save him. They showed no remorse, not even comprehension. It's clear I'm no longer in control. I held a funeral to keep order. The crew would have been at his body like wild dogs. We compromised. He'll be tethered in the water to attract scavenging animals that we will catch for food. If he doesn't get a bite within three of this planet's days, we cut him loose as a water burial. We've sealed the Tritons off. They're dangerous, especially given the crew's mental state. My kingdom for a shark. Uh, Camacho. The captain gets it now. He tried to lock himself in the ship, screaming that he had to fix it. We were gentle. One person for each limb. Oh, no! We let him rest on the sphere. Sometimes in the middle of the night, he came around, and now he agrees. We won't leave. Why would we? I think this will be my last entry. Everyone here understands me. If anyone finds us, they might feel differently. But that can be fixed. In time. It's so good not being hungry anymore. Blech. Hello? Thank you. <laughs> no, I refuse to be picked up. Wow, that is uh, some, some freaky shit. Can we go further down this way? We can. What's this? Damaged Triton ADS. Like damaged Atlas. Different though. And it's not flying through. Look, up there. Reaper, um, they were right behind us. Protect the shuttle. That's fucking terrifying, just seeing that drop out of orbit. What the fuck? What the fuck? I will. Situation. Holy shit. Bye. Charge! I only had to press it 20 times. Cortez, 
What happened to almost there? Development commander, fixing it now. Oh god, that's a lot of you. Hello. Oh, hi! Yeah, go around the long way. That's that's great. Oh, there's another one! Give us some cover fire. Nice. You got him? You alright? Fuck say. Get to him. Commander, I've got enemy contact. Under fire. On my way. We good? What are you shooting at? Hello. Status. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. Why not have the Normandy pick us up? Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. Under the sea. Diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade. Repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater hasn't corroded, you should be good to go. Baby, it's better. Downward sweater. Under well, the that's sea. that's what we have to do. Let's get started. Shepard. Perhaps you are unaware of the degree of risk. Are we seriously proposing? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? I suppose we are. These old Ballard-class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. We've got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in. Cheers. Watch out! I feel like this would be a waste to use this now. I'm just gonna drop it. If we get like a banshee or something, I'll use it on that. Okay, two more. Another power cell for you, Commander. Here they come! Get another power cell, Shepard! We'll hold them off! Oh, it's draining. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't realize that.
Got it. You don't have to tell me twice. Oh, baby. It's... Oh! Hi! I can't do anything. It won't let me shoot or anything. I guess I can't shoot that close to me. This is cool. Good. I need to get in the water. Am I seriously just jumping to the bottom of a fucking ocean in this shit mech? Like, does that? How would we get back out? Does it have thrusters on it? And the reason we're jumping down there is because we think a reaper's down there, and our great idea. Our great idea is to go in a little suit to chat to it. Yeah, I don't know about this one, Chief. All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there and I'll do a systems check. Shepard, I understand the reasons, but this is a big risk. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, SEALs check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. As ready as I can make it. Holy fuck. Let's go. Shepard. I'll be fine. Love you, Liara. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. Don't worry, Liara. If I don't make it back, you'll be joining me in the afterlife real soon. Yeet. Commencing dive. Yeah, this is a dive. This is this is definitely a definitely a dive. Holy fuck! Sinking like a fucking stone. Looks good so far. Copy that. Yeah, you won't be able to. Cortez. Cortez. I would shit my pants. I would net well. I wouldn't shit my pants because I'd never be in this situation in the first place. You ain't catching me jumping into the fucking deepest trench around underwater with fucking a tiny mech. Oh, brilliant! Hooray, hurrah! Even better. No light. How long was he falling for? My god. Are we gonna have underwater combat? <laughs> Not sure if you can read me up there. No. Looks like I've finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Suit is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operation. Scanner indicates the probe is below my position. Looking for a way down. Bomb. down all non critical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the service. Can't worry about that now. <laughs> that seems like a pretty vital thing to worry Getting about. Some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. <clears throat> the pressure reading is starting to go a bit high as well. Can't say I'm in love reading with that. Directly below me. Looks like the final drop. 
Well, feet first into hell. Can't see anything just yet. Found the probe. Seems intact. My fucking screen's moving. cracking because of the pressure. That is not great. That is officially not great. What is that? Nothing good. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's different. That's different. Holy shit, is that an organic reaper? I had to find you. This is not your domain. You have breached the darkness. You it's an organic me. reaper. I need to know why. Yeah, you said that before. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species can be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign, the fall of the Collectors, the Reapers perceive you as a threat. And I must understand why. Huge gonads. Before the cycles, our kind was the apex of life in the galaxy. Before the, the cycles. species were in our thrall, serving our needs. We grew more powerful than they were cared for, but we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. Oh? Holy shit. Holy shit. Harbinger is the first Reaper. Okay, let me get this straight. They created an AI to preserve life, and the AI was like, ah, fuck that shit. <laughs> and they harvested these guys, and that's why the Reapers look like these guys, because they were based off of this first species that they harvested. 
You built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. What? How? How can you say it serves its purpose when it wiped out your kind? And, like, its purpose was to preserve life. And it created shit that destroys life! How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled. Removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. So there's more than just this one. You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design. Each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined. Perfected and gave rise to indoctrination. Why cycle? What's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. Yeah, I noticed. The Reapers to create the mass relays to speed the time between cycles for greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution huh. its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. And it's looking for a way to preserve life? I mean, has it fucking tried not killing life? Like, what? Eh? It was given the mandate to preserve life at all costs, and its solution is to experiment with the universe by murdering everyone every 50,000 years. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. It's about to be. Tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. Wait! The cycle will continue. No. You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. You will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. Wait, uh... The will harvest the rest. If no, I, I don't think no I will. To be harvested. Stay here. Nothing will change. It already has. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this, once and for all. Is it thinking about it? <laughs> oh. 
Holy shit, what a fucking law bomb. What the fuck? Before there were cycles. Wait, shit, there's more of them right here! Your confidence is singular. I've earned it. Out there fighting, where you should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Holy shit! Trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. Today, they pay their tribute in blood. Holy shit! Ah. Uh. Wow, they're actually letting us go then. Oh my god. That was amazing. <laughs> Holy fuck. Talk about deep lore. By the way, here's how the Reapers were created in the first place. I didn't I never thought we'd get to find that out. Get down, there's some big fuckers coming behind me! Run! Big fuckers at six o'clock! gonna see them rise out the sea and like do battle in person but it was a more of a mental thing from staying deep down below Shepherd, interesting goddess, he's freezing <coughs> are you all right <coughs> yeah yeah i'm fine hell of a headache <laughs> i bet don't ever do that again I've got Anne Bryson on the comm. Good. Put her through. Commander. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? We found it, Anne. We found Leviathan. Was it worth it? Uh, I mean, they're scary as fuck. We learned a lot. But, I mean... There's, it's not like it was the last one. It's the Apex race that controlled everything else with their minds and like almost impossible to defeat apart from with this intelligence thing. And I don't know if like getting them to come back is necessarily the best idea. I don't know. But we proved it can't hide anymore. That it's a part of this war, just like us. Sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. 
We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Take care, Anne. And thanks for all your help. Shepard up. Man. Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Yeah, I'd Our say so. We'll be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. So that implies that that intelligence is still in charge, right? They created this intelligence who created the Reapers and set up this cycle where it harvests things every 50,000 years as a way to experiment with the galaxy and try and discover the best way to preserve life? But if, if the experiment is still ongoing, that implies the intelligence is out there somewhere. So, are we going to be able to go and find it? Or, like, I'm surprised we didn't ask more about the intelligence. I'm surprised we didn't, we weren't like, so, where it at? And where's the off switch, you know? Not that simple, I'm sure, just to off switch it, but. Hmm. Very interesting. And, of course, this wasn't part of the base game. This came out after most people would have played through the entire game. Because it wasn't day one, that was just the, that was just the Javik one. So, this is information that I have now that most people would not have throughout the entire game. So, that's interesting. Different perspective to what pe what other people would have at this point. Uh, new alien. Leviathan Enthrallment Team. A mixed species team of special operations soldiers have volunteered to covertly deliver Leviathan artifacts behind enemy lines. These attacks aim to make Reaper creatures thralls of the Leviathans. On a small scale, this could cause chaos and disruption. On a large scale, and if given enough time, it could form an army of Reaper creatures dedicated to exterminating their own kind. The team's major limiting factors are the small number of artifacts and the reluctance of Alliance commanders to operate openly with such a potent weapon for fear the Reapers might develop a countermeasure. Hey, our total military strength bar is now maxed. I wonder if the number can still go up, or if that is, like, if that is the the highest amount possible that's 400 assets right there jesus that's a lot of assets that is a huge amount of assets alliance dr anne bryson has survived her ordeal with leviathan's artifact oh god you know the fact that it says that makes me think that if we'd chosen the renegade option she may not have survived and retains most of her mental faculties. Yeah, I, I feel like it's saying that because there was another way that could have gone where she didn't survive or didn't retain most of her mental faculties. So I think we actually did the right thing there. I'm glad I actually suspected that that might be the case. Her research into paleo technology could be useful in understanding the Prothean device and the laws of high energy physics that the Reapers seem to ignore. Husk neural map. The biologists on Chalkos have made a quick study of the brain structures of husks and other reaper creatures. Isolating the parts of the brain responsible for inter interpreting sensory data, their conclusions contrast the various strengths and weaknesses of reaper ground forces when it comes to sight, smell, hearing, and so forth. This data could be extremely useful for soldiers or citizens trying to escape and evade reapers on occupied planets. Crusable. Jovian Dissertation. This scientific data draws conclusions about the gas giant Isael's exceptionally powerful magnetic field, which has complex interactions with those of its moons. The mathematics used to model this complexity can provide new insight into the math of the Prothean device. A brief glance at the data hints at some kind of energetic pulse that might pass through the magnetosphere of, of a planet unimpeded, but any details are best derived by high-energy physicists. Radiation Shielding Sheath. The Prothean device is being built in space where its inner workings may be vulnerable to cosmic radiation from nearby stars. While the construction plan has taken standard risks into account, a sudden turn in space weather could pierce the basic shielding and irradiate the device and crew. 
Superior radiation shielding used by the orbital stations near the gas giant, Sinius, would provide a low-cost way to keep the device safe against all but the most unusual energetic emissions. And last but not least, Dextro rations. When they were struck by the Reapers, the agribusinesses of T uh, Triginta Petra had a surplus of both plant and animal-based food products for dextro amino acid-based sapients. Both Turian troops, who favour a meat-heavy diet, and the Quarians, who are typically vegan, show a marked preference for these recovered rations, suggesting that although they were wiped out by enemy forces, the Petrans had pretty good taste. Serving Petran food to a unit about to go into combat can restore a little morale and dignity to an otherwise demoralised squad. Cool. Man, that was a great DLC! That was that was really really strong. Definitely my favorite of the three so far. What I really appreciate about it as well is that we went to a whole variety of different places. Like that is not normally the case with Mass Effect DLCs, right? Like Mass Effect 1, it was just the one on that one asteroid. Uh we it was just took place on the asteroid, that was it. Uh Mass Effect 2, the Hammerhead one we went to a couple of different places, but like do we really count the Hammerhead one? No, we don't. We really don't count the Hammerhead one, let's be honest. So then we had Overlord, which was great, but pretty much in one place. Uh, Shadow Broker, that was in two places. That was Ilium and the Shadow Broker base. Uh, so that's good. That, that did take place in two places. And then here we've got... Was there any other DLC in Mass Effect 2? Hammerhead, Thing, Overlord, Shadow Broker... I feel like there's one I'm forgetting. Hmm. It slipped my mind. I feel like there's a fourth. I don't know. Uh, and then, yeah, here, Eden Prime, just on Eden Prime. Uh, or rather, From Ashes, I think it was called. And then the Omega one, just on Omega. And then here, it was like, we're going back to the Citadel to explore the lab and learn clues, and then off to a new planet, and then meet up back at the lab to discuss where we are, and then new planet, and then lab, and then new planet. And it's like, I don't know, I really liked... The, the sort of scope of it. And not only the fact that the scope of it was big in multiple different plants we were going to, but the actual content of it was like huge crazy lore shit, <laughs> you know? Not just like Omega where it's just like small scale, let's go take this station back. But like literally, here's the beginnings of the universe as you know it, the beginnings of the cycle, the progenitors of the Reapers, the reasons that it came about, all these questions that you've had in your head since the very first game, like here's all of the answers just handed to you. <laughs> it's like, that's crazy. That's mad. Commander. My goodness. So yeah, big fan. Definitely my favorite DLC of Mass Effect 3. Just awesome stuff. But it is a bit worrying. Like there were, one of them seems powerful enough. There were three there. There could have been more there. And he said that like there were more out there. He's just the kids of some of them. So, if we do defeat the Reapers, which I assume this game will end with us defeating the Reapers, uh, then they're going to be, like, able to return to galactic society. And they seemingly are omega powerful. Like, we can't beat the Reapers, and these things are more powerful than the Reapers. <laughs> so, I don't know. I feel like that's, uh, that's a bit of a worry. Okay. I don't know. So the Reapers did not fully exterminate their creators. That suggests they are fallible, even on large or long-term scales. Maybe we can get them to kiss and make up, like the Quarians and the Geth. How's the ship holding up, Edie? The envelope of mass-free space we create. Just be like, yeah, so... Uh, we know you did start this cycle thing, and it... ran every 50,000 years for the past billion years, but... You know, let's let bygones be bygones. <laughs> so what's a billion years, you know? <laughs> it's interesting, he also said that every harvest ends with the birth of a reaper. It didn't say multiple reapers. It said that a harvest ends with the birth of one reaper. Which in this case, I guess they were trying to do it with humans. But... That's a big fucking fleet they have. And if they only add one Reaper to their number every time. But then actually, like... Their numbers are shrinking? Because <laughs> we... Obviously, a lot of them die every time. 
well, maybe not every time, who knows, but like, certainly a lot of them have been dying. They've been, they've been winning the war, but we've been killing a lot of them on the way. Like, not enough to make a dent in their numbers, but still. So if they're only making one a time and losing a bunch, then you'd think that they would never get to the size they are now. Nice to have everyone back on dry land, so to speak. You know, whenever we discover something amazing like that, I wonder what else might be out there. Or even right under our noses. That's your mouth. Hey, Shepard. Bye, Caden. Anything in here? Not. Liara. Thoughts? Any thoughts? Please, enjoy your day. I'm glad you made it back. And I'd appreciate it if you'd avoided talking to- I don't want any tentacled creature inside your mind. Except me. Huh? That was weird. I, again, I didn't press anything there. She got halfway through her sentence, but then she didn't fade out that time. She just went on to the next question. The next statement, rather. I was just spinning the camera around to, like, get that angle. And she was just like, right, next bit of dialogue. Look around. I don't think I can still speak. She said, "Try don't speak to Leviathan anymore, but I don't think I could if I wanted to, right? Because we don't have any of the artifacts. And that's how it converses. Shepard, I looked over your mission report. Gotta say, it feels like we've been after these Reapers forever. From Sovereign to Leviathan, they've been a pain in the ass the whole time. But at least we're starting to see the big picture. Never really thought we'd get any answers. Doesn't change much, but it does make this war feel a whole lot bigger. Yeah, a little bit. How's it going? Little bit bigger. Chakwas, we've just discovered the origin of everything. We've just had the biggest law reveals ever. Please, what have you got to say? Yeah, Great talking to you too, Chakwas. Oh, Javissimo! I have studied your human religions, Commander. Your devil and his fall. Leviathan and its kind deserve the same fate. They once unleashed a plague that has haunted all of our history to this day. I say their own hell is the abyss you found them in. One I hope they never escape from. <laughs> Commander. The interesting thing is, though, that if they hadn't created this essentially plague that haunts the galaxy to this day then Javik would have never existed I would have never existed because these like events have only played out to the point where our civilizations began and grew and flourished because all the other civilizations before us got wiped out repeatedly right like it is very 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 unlikely that if they had all been untouched that everything would have progressed in the exact same manner and we would still have ended up as a species like today. So, interesting thought. I was just thinking about the Banshees. The Asari are so beautiful. Yeah, they are. See that done to them. The Reapers have done the same to most intelligent species they've encountered. Humans, Batarians, Turians, and even Krogan have been modified into Reaper foot soldiers. But not Quarians. No. The Reapers have not encountered your people in significant numbers. You don't think it's because of our weakened immune systems? No. Hmm. I just assumed we weren't useful. Quarians are intelligent, adaptable, and technically adept. You would make excellent Reaper soldiers. <laughs> Thanks, E.D. I think. I think. Alec, the Normandy has benefited greatly from your work. And you are providing vital support in the war effort. We wouldn't be doing as well without the Geth. And we wouldn't be doing as well without you. Thank you, Tally. No. So we have Leviathan. I hope it stays on our side. It won't. The way it was talking, it was talking like how Javik sometimes talks, except like Leviathan can walk the walk more than Javik can. Because the Vi like, Javik was like, yeah, man, we subjugate all our species. Fucking love it. Fucking love to just control everything and not let everything have free will. And by the way, we made everyone name themselves Prothean. Great banter. 
And like, yeah, they're competent fighters, but Leviathan is like a god compared to Javik, compared to the Protheans, right? Like, if the Protheans fought the Leviathans, the Protheans would get dicked. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, like, as soon as as soon as the war's over, I feel like the Leviathans are just gonna go right. Glad that's done. Back at it again. Time to subjugate. You know. I don't Thanks know. for coming by. Nothing to report, Commander. Ship him. My board is green. Maybe we'll find out in Mass Effect 4. Coming. 2025? 2026? Who knows? Definitely not coming in the next, like, three years. <laughs> Probably 2025 at the earliest, it sounds like. Because all of Bioware is working on Dragon Age right now. There's, like, a couple of people brainstorming and doing concept art, I think, for the new Mass Effect. But, like... No one's actually making it. So, because they're all making Dragon Age. So, when they do start making it, it'll then be like three or four years before it actually comes out. So, it ain't going to be until like 2025, but whatever. Maybe that'll be, maybe that'll be something that is explored Can't there. I was happy sending you down in that submersible by yourself. Don't know why I ever worry about you. Take on ancient aliens from the deep? Sure, no problem. <laughs> I don't know if they're I from the deep. I think they're just out. hiding in the deep. Because there's no way that's going to be explored in this game. Well, it can't be because it's a DLC. When the DLC's over. So, yeah, there's no way that prospect will be explored in this game. This game will just be focused on stopping the Reaper threat. So, yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting the thought. Leviathan on our side. Maybe we pull this thing off after all. Maybe, James. At least Anne's still around to see her dad's work finally pay off. Hey. Yeah, Dad would be fucking creaming over all of this. That sucks that he's not around. He'd be losing his shit. Oh, I guess we can uh, just check on the head in our cabin. How are my fishies doing? They're doing good. Have some extra feed. There you go. Hi! What a creepy fucking thing. Why did I bring this back with me? Why did I do that? That's mildly terrifying. Send it back. <laughs> Throw it out the airlock. Javik's airlock. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the Leviathan DLC. So. We will need to head back there at some point. Uh... I guess I'll probably do that at the start of the next part. Because I don't like leaving things unfinished. Uh, before doing priority missions. Because you never know if priority missions are going to lock stuff off. God, it fucking pains me that this is stuck in my journal. Just impossible to remove. Like, oh, every time I see it, I am pained. I search so thoroughly. I even said... These things come in threes. And then I double-checked every fucking building on the planet. Didn't find it. Figured I was wrong. Left. Discovered that I was not wrong. And that you cannot go back and it just bugs out and stays in your journal forever. Impossible to complete. You hate to see it. Oh my god. That irritates me to no end. But yeah. It is almost time for the next priority mission. Man. Feels like we've been banging out priority missions like nobody's business recently. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely building towards the climax. I can't imagine there is, honestly, that long left of the game. Like, a couple of weeks, maybe? I mean, we've still got the Citadel DLC. Assuming that's, like, four parts or something. I don't know, I don't know. Depends how many main missions we have left, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel like there's going to be many. Like, I don't know, this, it feels very endgame to me. So, the journey may be coming to a close soon, but we still have a bit of a way to go first. Hope you're enjoying. If you are, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Mass Effect 3. Thanks for watching. See you then.